Uh, are you feeling lost and confused in your relationship? Do you find yourself constantly questioning where you stand with your partner? You're not alone. Millions of people find themselves trapped in the web of toxic love, unsure of how they got there or how to break free. In this video, we're going to shine a light on the seven stages of a toxic relationship, giving you the tools to recognize the red flags before it's too late. We'll break down each stage step by step so you can understand the patterns, protect yourself from emotional damage, and most importantly, learn how to build healthier, more fulfilling relationships in the future. So, if you're ready to take control of your love life and stop these toxic cycles, keep watching. This first stage, this is where the trouble often begins. It's the initial phase where everything feels like a dream come true. It's the honeymoon phase, the infatuation stage, where everything seems absolutely perfect. You feel like you've found your soulmate, the one who completes you. Your new love interest is showering you with compliments, affection, maybe even extravagant gifts. They make you feel special, adored and cherished. They're attentive, they're charming. They seem to be everything you've ever wanted. Every moment spent together feels magical, like you're living in a fairy tale. But here's the catch. It's often all an act, a carefully crafted persona designed to lure you in. This facade can be incredibly convincing, making it hard to see the reality behind the mask. They're mirroring your desires, telling you what you want to hear, creating an illusion of a perfect match. They study you, learn your likes and dislikes, and reflect them back to you. Now this doesn't mean that every relationship that starts off strong is doomed to fail. Many genuine relationships begin with intense emotions and deep connections, but it's crucial to be aware of the potential for manipulation during this stage. Recognize the signs and stay grounded in reality. Pay attention to how they react when you set boundaries or disagree with them. Do they respect your space and opinions or do they push back and try to change your mind? Do they respect your opinions? or do they try to manipulate you into changing your mind? Manipulative behavior can be subtle, but it's important to recognize it early on. Remember, true love respects individuality and encourages personal growth. It doesn't seek to control and confine. A healthy relationship is built on mutual respect, trust, and the freedom to be yourself. So take your time, observe, and don't be afraid to ask questions. The right person will appreciate your caution and will be willing to build a relationship based on honesty and mutual respect. Now, once the initial excitement of the idealization stage starts to fade, you enter the second stage devaluation. This is a critical phase in any relationship where the true colors of your partner begin to emerge. This is where the cracks in that seemingly perfect facade begin to show. The person who once seemed flawless now starts to reveal their imperfections and the relationship dynamic begins to shift. Your partner, the one who once showered you with praise, might start criticizing you, belittling your accomplishments or making you feel inadequate. These criticisms can be subtle at first, almost imperceptible, but they gradually become more frequent and more hurtful. They might use subtle put-downs disguised as jokes, or they might be openly critical of your appearance, your intelligence, your choices. These comments are often masked as constructive criticism, but their true intent is to undermine your confidence. This shift in behavior can be incredibly confusing and hurtful, especially because it often happens gradually. You might not even realize it's happening until you start to feel a constant sense of unease and self-doubt. You might find yourself making excuses for their behavior, blaming yourself or trying even harder to please them, hoping to win back the affection you once felt. This can lead to a cycle of self-blame and increased efforts to meet their ever-changing expectations. This, my friends, is a dangerous path. Walking on eggshells, constantly trying to avoid conflict and feeling trapped in a relationship where you once felt cherished can take a significant toll on your mental and emotional well-being. Recognizing devaluation for what it is is crucial. It's the first step towards reclaiming your sense of self and understanding that the problem lies not with you, but with the manipulative tactics of your partner. It's about power and control. The devaluation stage is a deliberate attempt to shift the power dynamics in the relationship, making you more dependent on them 
and less likely to challenge their authority. They're trying to undermine your self-esteem, making you more dependent on them and more vulnerable to their manipulation. By recognizing these patterns, you can begin to take steps to protect yourself and seek the support you need to break free from this toxic cycle. Here's where things get really messy, the manipulation stage. This is where your partner starts to actively twist the truth, gaslight you, and make you doubt your own sanity. They might deny things they've said or done, accuse you of being crazy or too sensitive, or try to convince you that your memories are wrong. This kind of psychological manipulation can be incredibly damaging to your self-worth and your perception of reality. You might start to question your own judgment, your instincts, even your sanity. This is exactly what the manipulator wants. They want you off balance, doubting yourself, so they can maintain control. Remember, you are not imagining things. If something feels wrong, it probably is. Trust your gut and don't let anyone, especially not a romantic partner, but convince you that you're losing your mind. Chapter four, isolation. Trapped in their web of control, isolation. This is a classic tactic used by manipulators to further their control over you. They might start subtly, perhaps making negative comments about your friends or family, sowing seeds of doubt about their intentions. They might try to create drama or conflict between you and your loved ones, driving a wedge between you. The goal here is to isolate you from your support system, the people who care about you and want what's best for you. They want you all to themselves, dependent on them for emotional support and validation. This isolation makes you more vulnerable to their manipulation because you have fewer people to turn to for perspective and support. Remember, healthy relationships thrive on connection and support from a wider circle of loved ones. If your partner is trying to isolate you, that's a huge red flag. Chapter five, stage five, reverse discard, turning the tables to play the victim. This stage can be particularly cruel and confusing in the reverse discard phase, the manipulator essentially sets you up to be the one who ends the relationship. They might become increasingly distant, critical, or even neglectful. They might withhold affection, start arguments, or create drama, pushing you to the point where you feel like you have no choice but to break things off. This allows them to play the victim, even though they were the ones orchestrating the situation all along. They might tell everyone how hard they tried, how much they loved you, but you were the one who gave up on the relationship. This manipulation tactic is designed to protect their ego, maintain their image, and potentially even keep you hooked, wondering what you could have done differently. Chapter six, stage six, direct discard, the heartless toss away. Now, if the reverse discard doesn't work, if you haven't broken down and ended things on their terms, they might move on to the direct discard. This is often a brutal and unexpected cutoff. It can feel like the rug has been pulled out from under you. They might disappear from your life suddenly, stop returning your calls or break up with you out of the blue, leaving you feeling confused, heartbroken and utterly blindsided. The suddenness of it all can be overwhelming. The direct discard is a power play, a way for them to assert their control over the situation and leave you reeling. It's a tactic to make you feel powerless. They might even move on to a new relationship immediately, rubbing salt in the wound and making you question your own worth. This can lead to a spiral of self-doubt and insecurity. Remember, their actions are a reflection of them, not you. It's important to remind yourself that their behavior is not a measure of your value. You deserve to be with someone who values you, respects you, and is willing to put in the effort to build a healthy, loving relationship. Surround yourself with people who uplift you and remind you of your worth. Take this time to focus on self-care and healing. Engage in activities that bring you joy and connect with loved ones who support you. Use this experience as an opportunity to grow and set new goals for yourself. Embrace new opportunities and look forward to a brighter future. To chapter seven to stage seven, healing, reclaiming your power and finding peace. This is where your journey of healing and self-discovery begins. It's time to start picking up the pieces, rebuilding your self-esteem, and rediscovering who you are outside of the toxic relationship. This stage is about understanding what happened, learning from the experience, and taking back your power. It's about recognizing your own strength and resilience, 
understanding that you are worthy of love and respect. Healing isn't always easy, and it doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, and it's okay to ask for help along the way. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family. Consider therapy or support groups, and be patient with yourself. Remember, you are not defined by your past relationships. You are a work in progress, and every day is a new opportunity to learn, grow, and create the life you deserve. Break the cycle, find your strength. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Whether you are currently navigating a toxic relationship, healing from past wounds, or supporting someone else in their recovery, know that there is hope and support available. If you found this video valuable, leave a like and share it with others. Your comment might be the lifeline someone needs to recognize the signs and seek help. Subscribe to our channel for more content on mental wellness and relationships like hidden signs. Your past trauma is still hurting you and six things to know about your crush before dating. Thanks for watching.